Recently, I've been flying my drone in a few select spots in and around Los Angeles. Spots that are normally really busy with human activity, mainly in the form of surfers. In my time here, I've learned that most surfers recognize they are merely guests in the water, and rightly so. I've yet to meet a surfer that did not respect sharks. Often, if you train your eye, that fin you think you saw in the distance is actually a white shark. And if you ask surfers if they've ever seen a fin, a large number of them will probably tell you they have. Fins like this one, just glistening in the evening sun. What most folks don't realize is that white sharks are often much closer to populated beaches than they think. That's Santa Monica in this frame. The world famous pier is just one mile and a half away. What I find amazing is that while the hustle and bustle of everyday life occurs, while people enjoy the beach, and while buses and cars zoom by, just a few hundred feet away is a legendary white shark. Hey folks, coming to you with a little bit of a change this week. I am in Pacific Palisades, which is right between Santa Monica and Malibu. I'm right by the Pacific Coast Highway here, and uh, it's a little bit of a change for me because I don't necessarily fly from this location often. Uh, but today's an exception. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll notice that uh, I do post stories often of some of the footage. And last week, I did post some footage from this location of six white sharks. Now, this area is known to have a lot of swimmers. And so, uh, when I posted that footage, uh, one of my friends, is Adam Skolnick, he's an author and journalist, reached out to me. And he said that the sharks I filmed were right in his backyard, that that is the area where he swims most. So, uh, he's invited me out this morning to do some scouting, to just check out the area, see if there's any sharks uh, right before he goes on a swim. He's gonna be here shortly, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch the drone, take a look, see if there's any sharks here. Uh, if there isn't, he's gonna swim, and if there is, I'm interested to see if he's still gonna swim. So let's find out. I launched the first flight as a scouting flight. I quickly found a swimmer in the water. Typically during these flights, I'm trying to gauge how good the water visibility is and map out an even flight path in what I call the shark zone. I didn't see any sharks in this first pass, but I did find these dolphins. Finding dolphins is always a good sign in my opinion. It means that there may be other life nearby, often in the form of a white shark. But as I exhausted the first battery, the dolphins are really all I saw. That's a good point. Hey man, how you doing? Good. Sorry we're a little late. I no couldn't, problem. I couldn't get Carlos. Out, I couldn't get out of, out of the house. No problem, man. I am about a mile away right now. Are you? Where are you? I'm uh, at Gladstones, basically. Okay. I'm flying back. I'm just checking out the area here. Yeah? Uh, no, nothing yet. All right. What if I told you I saw a shark yesterday, though? Right here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would that I've... change your idea of wanting to swim? No. No? I know they're out there. Yeah, you know? Okay. Yeah. Let's go for a swim. Let's go for a swim. Yeah. You can go for a swim? Yeah. All right. Sweet. So I didn't see anything on the first flight, but that doesn't mean they're there. They're not there. I mean, right. because the, the visibility is so okay. bad. But right. yeah, this guy comes close to you guys. There's a shark near you. Okay. Don't panic. They've always been there. Right. So what's the thing <laughs> to do if, if that happens? Just swim slowly away from it. Uh, or, yeah, yeah. Try to uh, try to keep the the <laughs> drone in front of you, or because the drone is the shark in this right. case. Right. And just like every other encounter, you just want to keep the shark in front okay because what the shark will do is if it notices you and wants to react to you 
its first instinct is to go down and go around and behind you. So if right. you lose the shark, or if you see my drone go straight up, that means the shark went down. Okay. First place to look, behind you. Okay. Because that's what the sharks will, will do. They just yeah. dive, go behind you, yeah. and check you out from behind. So Adam and Kyle started their regular morning swim. Now remember, this is their regular routine. In no way are they doing this for the sake of me capturing footage. This area has many swimmers, and it may explain why I haven't seen white sharks behind the shore breaks here as often. Flying within the shark zone for about a mile and a half, I didn't see any white sharks. But on the return back, I once again came across these dolphins. From experience, I've learned that when I film dolphins, there are often juvenile white sharks nearby. So I make it a habit to raise the drone if I see the dolphins get a little excited suddenly. That's exactly what happens here. And just like that, there's a white shark. This is essentially a baby shark. Notice its small size. So where are Adam and Kyle? While I was filming this shark, they actually made it all the way back. In fact, you can see them both on the top of the frame here. This juvenile white shark actually wasn't too far away. I couldn't wait to get their reaction. So I grabbed a few photos and topside shots and brought the drone back just as they were walking up to me. Anything? All right, man. So, <laughs> so I, what? Swam, I, 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 I watched you guys swim for a while, and then I did some just survey flights. Yeah. And on this last battery, actually, there was a white shark right here. Really? Right here. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Um, How close were we? Uh, I could. I tried to find you guys, and then by the time I found you guys, you guys are coming into the okay. in here. I would say you were probably within 700, 600 feet of a white shark. Okay. Because um, the, the beautiful shark right at the top. Really? Really. And That's just like awesome. I said, I had a few batteries left, so I decided to put up another flight. Because I had a GPS trail of my previous path, I was able to fly to the area where I last saw the shark. Sure enough, it was still nearby, and on the surface too, allowing me to get some pretty close ID shots to pass along to the shark lab. Eventually, I followed the shark for over a mile before I had to return. Along the way, I spotted a paddleboarder who likely had no idea a white shark was nearby. On my last battery, I flew further north and out to sea into Malibu, where I found a larger juvenile white shark on the surface. This is not to my surprise, however as summertime is in full swing here in Southern California. As I film scenes like this, I'm really getting a good appreciation for what amazing life exists just off of one of the busiest coastlines in the United States. It makes me wonder how many more coastlines I could explore. What is out there? Let me know in the comments if you know places where you think I should explore. If you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. I've also included some links to organizations that are actively involved in protecting our oceans. Please pay them a visit.